What's going on today? Uh, this is David again. It's going to bring you another video. Um, this video I'm going to call it The Crown. It's given by the Spirit of Wisdom. It's from the Father, given by the Lord, to the men who he knows the desire of their heart is his, is his word. Uh, it's going to come to you in a way that you, if it's your true desire, it's going to be all you care about. Just like the entrepreneur only cares about doing business, we only care about studying the word and teaching the word. All those things that we used to be in, enthralled with are no longer uh, appealing. Uh, you know the truth now, the real truth. And you're watching it un un unravel itself in the earth. Um, what's in this book is very serious. It's, it's a dramatic change. It's going to be a complete subduing of the earth. Uh, Babylon is basically running on fumes, uh, handing out free money, borrowing from corporations, giving corporations uh, kickbacks with interest. Um, I think it was three rich, what was I reading? Uh, Bezos, Buffett, and who was the other guy? Is it Gates or someone like that? Those three men hold about 50% of the wealth in this country. Three men. They give you a little stimmy. It doesn't do anything. You're better off just buying silver with it. The dollar is not going to be worth anything. Um, anyway, the crown. A lot of our people don't see these things. They, they stay willingly blind. And a lot of you have come to this truth. Uh, your eyes are open. Um, I would tell you to take this very seriously. This wisdom and this knowledge is for your benefit of life. A lot of your people don't want to take heed and make the change. Um, that's on them. The Lord is not going to be slack, and he's not slack. The crown, man. That's right. You want to, The reason you do this work is because it's the desire of your heart. You want to be a prince of the Lord, right? You, want to, you, want to, you hope to be one of the elect, and he's given you the wisdom to do the labor. Let's read. Let's give all praise to the Most High God, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And all praise to you, lost sheep of the house of Israel and mankind who fears God. This is your life. The word of God is a Hebrew's life. You're, if you're a man and you're not studying this word, you're in drastic error. It's going to come to you when you least expect it. First book of Adam and Eve, chapter 63, verse 14. For we know thy marvelous works, O God, that thy, they are great, and that by thy power thou canst bring one thing out of another. Right, you are one person. You got by the power of the Lord, he's gave you this wisdom, the crown, his knowledge. All of a sudden you change. Without one's wish, right, you didn't never, you never thought that you'd be studying the scriptures like you do now. <laughs> For thy power can make rocks to become trees, and trees to become rocks. That's right. You can make them like you can make you can make them like himself. Because the head of man is Christ. The foundation is the rock. That's right. Let's get it. Song of Solomon, chapter 3, verse 11, the crown. Go forth, O ye daughters of Zion, and behold King Solomon with the crown wherewith his mother crowned him in the day of his espousals. That's right, you got the crown now. You're invited to the marriage. That's right. And in the day of the gladness of his heart, right? Because you, you've you learned the truth, and now it is the gladness of your heart. This is what you focus on. Just like the businessman loves to work 24 hours a day, he's too busy doing business to study the word of the Lord. The true word of the Lord you, it has to be 24-7 in your mind because you're watching it. It's real life, right? And you know the danger, so you're trying to warn and save people. This is what you need to do because no, no, your pastor, your mother, your father, your cousins, your family members, your regular people you deal with, they're not going to do this. It's not in their heart to do it. Only the Lord has to wake up certain men to break these things down to you. It takes labor. Let's read. 
Psalms chapter 45, verses 1 through 17. My heart is indicting a good matter. I speak of the things which I have made touching the king. That's right. All these words are about the king. What he says he's going to promise us for our love towards him. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. Thou art fairer than the children of men. Grace is poured into thy lips. Therefore, Yahweh hath blessed thee forever. Gird thy sword upon thy thigh, O most mighty, with thy glory and with thy majesty. And in thy majesty ride prosperously because of the truth and meekness and righteousness. And thy right hand shall teach thee terrible things. Thine arrows are sharp in the heart of the king's enemies, whereby the people fall under thee. Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. The scepter of thy kingdom is thy right scepter. Thou lovest righteousness and hatest wickedness. Therefore, God, thy God, hath anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. That's right. The anointing above your fellows. That's right. All thy garments smell of myrrh and aloes and cassia, out of the ivory palaces whereby they have made thee glad. King's daughters were among thy honorable women. Upon thy right hand did stand the queen in gold of Ophir. Ophir. That's right. King's daughters. Because everyone's going to hear this truth. All these other nations. right? They're going to be in the courtyard of the Lord. That's right. Hearken, O daughter, and consider, and incline thine ear. Forget also thine own people. That's right. What did Ruth do? She said, I'm coming with you. I'm going to worship the God of Israel. That's right. In thy father's house, so shall the king greatly desire thy beauty, for he is thy Lord, and worship thou him. That's right. And the daughter of Tyre shall be there with a gift. Even the rich among the people shall entreat thy favor. The king's daughter is all glorious within. Her, cl her clothing is wrought of gold. She shall be brought unto the king in raiment of needlework. The virgin and her companions that follow her shall be brought unto thee. That's right, you Israelite women. That's right, you're going to have uh, servants. Let's read. With gladness and rejoicing. Shall they be brought, they shall enter into the king's palace. Instead of thy fathers, oops, me, shall be thy children, whom thou may, mayest make princes in all the earth. That's right. Those who've been down like, you turn yourself into a little child for this truth. That's right. I will make thy name to be remembered in all generations. Therefore, shall the people raise thee forever, shall the people praise thee forever and ever. That's right. That's our job, to teach this word so it rings forever. Old, Olds of Solomon, chapter 32. To the blessed, there is joy from their hearts, and light from him that dwells in them, and words from the truth, who is self-originate, for he is strengthened by the holy power of the Most High, and he is unperturbed forever and ever. That's right. Odes of Solomon, chapter 16. That's right. As the work of the husbandman is the plowshare, and the work of the steersman is the guidance of the ship, so also my work is the psalm of the Lord. My craft and my occupation are in his praises. Because his love hath nourished my heart, and even to my lips his fruits he poured out, for my love is the Lord, and therefore I will sing unto him. For I am made strong in his praise, and I have faith in him. I will open my mouth, and his spirit will utter in me the glory of the Lord and his beauty, the work of his hands, and the operations of his fingers. The multitude of his mercies and the strength of his word. For the word of the Lord searches out all things, both the invisible and that which reveals his thought. That's right. Searches out all things, and that which reveals his thought. That's right. For the eye sees his works, and the ears hear his thought. 
That's right. He spread out the earth, and he settled the waters in the sea. He measured the heavens and fixed the stars, and he established the creation, set it up, and he rested from his works, and created things run in their courses and do their works. And they know not how to stand and be idle, and his heavenly hosts are subject to his word. The treasure chamber of the light is the sun, and the treasury of the darkness is the night. The treasure chamber, and he made the sun for the day that it may be bright, but night brings darkness over the face of the land. And their alterations one to the other speak the beauty of Yahweh. And there is nothing with, that is without the Lord, for he was before anything, before anything came into being, and the worlds were made by his word, worlds. And by the thought of his heart, glory and honor to his name, hallelujah, worlds. That's right. Israel's a world, the people, and the rest of the world. Two different things. Old of Solomon, chapter 17. I was crowned by my God, my crown is living. And I was justified in my Lord, my incorruptible salvation is he. I was loose from vanity, and I was not condemned. The choking bonds were cut off by her hands. That's right, wisdom. The choking bonds, vanity. I received the face in the fashion of a new person, and I walked in it and was saved. And the thought of truth led me on, and I walked after it and did not wander. And all that have seen me were amazed, and I was regarded by them as a strange person. And he, and he who knew and brought me up is the most high in all his perfection. And he glorified me by his kindness and raised my thoughts to the height of his truth. And from thence he gave me the way of his precepts and I opened the doors that were closed. That's right. You, get the, you learn the mysteries, the real mysteries of the book. You're a door. When this word is your crown, the desire of your heart. Truth and break in pieces the bars of iron, but my iron melted and dissolved before me. Nothing appeared close to me because I was the because I was the door of everything. And I went over all my bondmen to loose them, that I might not leave any man bound or binding. And I imparted my knowledge without grudging, and my prayer was in my love, and I sowed my fruits and hearts and transform them into myself. And they receive my blessing and live. That's right, because you're going to, the, the elect, they're going to look like Yahweh Shai. They're going to look like him. Let's read. And they were gathered to me and were saved because they were to me as my own members and I was their head. Glory to thee, our head, the Lord Hamashiach. That's right. Chapter one. Odes of Solomon. The Lord is on my head like a crown, and I shall not be without him. They, wo they wove for me a crown of truth, and it caused thy branches to bud in me. For it is not like a withered crown which buddeth not. Right, they sort of stay stagnant. Withered crown. But thou livest upon my head, and thou hast blossomed upon my head. Thy fruits are full grown and perfect. They are full of thy salvation. That's right. Old Psalm in chapter 9. Open your ears and I will speak to you. Give me your souls that I might that I may give you my soul. The word of the Lord and his good pleasures, the holy thought which he has devised concerning his Messiah. For in the will of the Lord is your salvation and his thought is everlasting life and your end is immortality. Be enriched in Yahweh the Father, and receive the thought of the Most High. Be strong and be redeemed by his grace, for I announce to you peace, to you his saints. That none of those who hear may fall in war, and that those again who have known him may not perish, and that those who receive may not be ashamed. An everlasting crown forever is truth. Blessed are they who set it on their heads. 
a stone of great price is it. That's right. And there have been wars on account of the truth. That's right. In righteousness have taken it and have given it to you. Put on the crown and the true covenant of the Lord. And all those who have conquered shall be written in his book. For their book is victory, which is ours, which is yours. And she, victory, sees you before and wills that ye should be saved. Hallelujah. That's right. A lot of our people reject the crown. You don't want the wisdom. So it isn't given to you. You're content. You're not questioning anything here. It's going to change. Psalms chapter 89, verses 1 through 52. That's right. Mm -hmm. See, you are connected to this word by blood and spirit. If you don't keep it, you get punished for it. You keep it, you live. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. With my mouth will I make known thy faithfulness to all generations. For I have said, mercy shall be built up forever. Thy faithfulness shall thou establish in the very heavens. I have made a covenant with my chosen. I have sworn unto David my servant. Thy seed will I establish forever and build up thy throne to all generations. Salah. And the heavens shall praise thy wonders, O Lord, thy faithfulness also in the congregation of the saints. For who in the heaven can be compared unto the Lord? Who among the sons of the mighty can be likened unto Yahweh? God is greatly to be feared in the assembly of the saints and to be had in reverence of all them that are about him. That's right. He's your head. O Lord God of hosts, who is, who is a strong Lord like unto thee or to thy faithfulness round about thee? Thou rulest the raging of the sea, when the waves thereof arise, thou stillest them. Thou hast broken Rahab in pieces, as one that is slain. Thou hast scattered thine enemies with thy strong arm. The heavens are thine, the earth also is thine. As for the world and the fullness thereof, thou hast founded them. The north and the south, thou hast created them. Tabor and Hermon shall rejoice in thy name. Thou hast a mighty arm. Strong is thy hand, and high is thy right hand. That's right, the elect, the right hand. Justice and judgment are the habitation of thy throne. That's right. Justice and judgment are the habitation of the throne. Mercy and truth shall go before thy face. Blessed is the people that know the joyful sound. You know the voice of the Lord. Blessed are the people. Adam, Adam, where art thou? They shall walk, O Lord, in the light of thy countenance. In thy name shall they rejoice all the day. And in thy righteousness shall they be exalted. For thou art the glory of their strength. And in thy favor our horn shall be exalted. The horn of Israel going to be exalted in the Lord's favor. For the Lord is our defense, and the Holy One of Israel is our King, Yahweh. Then thou spakest in vision to the Holy One, and saidest, I have laid help upon one that is mighty. I have exalted one chosen out of the people. I have found David my servant. With my holy oil have I anointed him with whom my hand shall be established. Mine arm shall also strengthen him. The enemy shall not exact upon him, nor the son of wickedness afflict him. And I'll beat down his foes before his face and plague them that hate him. That's right. You hate the doors, you're going to be plagued for it. But my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. And in my name shall his horn be exalted. I will set his hand also in the sea, and his right hand in the rivers. He shall cry unto me, Thou art my Father, my God, and the rock of my salvation, Yahweh. Also I make him my firstborn, higher than the kings of the earth. My mercy will I keep for him forevermore, and my covenant shall stand fast with him. His seat also will I make to endure forever, and his throne as the days of heaven. If his children forsake my law and walk not in my judgments, 
That's right. If they break my statues and keep not my commandments, then will I visit their transgression with the rod and their iniquity with stripes. That's right. You're getting beat down out here. Mm -hmm. Everyone's cool to you. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, my loving kindness will I not utterly take from him, nor suffer my faithfulness to fail. My covenant will I not break, nor alter the thing that has gone out of my lips. Once have I sworn by my holiness that I will not lie unto David. His seed shall endure forever, and his throne as the sun before me. It shall be established forever as the moon, and as a faithful witness in heaven, Salah. But thou hast cast off and abhorred, thou hast been wroth with thine anointed. That's right, he's been mad with you Israelites, because you don't want the crown. You don't want to keep the commandments. Thou hast made void the covenant of thy servant. Thou hast profaned his crown by casting it to the ground. That's right. You have the rock bottom. Mm -hmm. Thou hast broken down all his hedges. Thou hast brought his strongholds to ruin. All that pass by the way spoil him. He is a reproach to his neighbors. That's right. Thou hast set up the right hand of his adversaries. Thou hast made all his enemies to rejoice. They're all rejoicing out here, having a good time. Thou hast also turned the edge of his sword and has not made him to stand in the battle. That's right. You can't fight against your oppressor. Uh-uh. You have no sword, no stick, little Adam. That's right. Because the Lord is your defense. Thou hast made his glory to cease and cast his throne down to the ground. Right. No, everyone makes mockery of you when you always call yourselves kings. You get made mockery. They, they make fun of you for doing it. Nobody knows who you are. That's right. These lights are getting in there. Sorry. The days of his youth hast thou shortened. Thou hast covered him with shame, Salah. How long, Lord, will thou hide thyself forever? Shall thy wrath burn like fire? Remember how short my time is. Wherefore hast thou made all men in vain? What man is he that liveth and shall not see death? Shall he deliver his soul from the hand of the grave? Salah, Lord, where are thy former loving kindnesses, which thou swearest unto David in thy truth? Remember, Lord, the reproach of thy servants, how I do bear in my bosom the reproach of all the mighty people. Wherewith thine enemies have reproached, O Yahawashai, wherewith they have reproached the footsteps of thine anointed. That's right. They reproach us for bringing this truth now. Bless be the Lord forevermore. Amen and amen. That's right. Our people got to quit loving simplicity. Proverbs chapter 14, verses 18 through 27. The simple inherit folly, but the prudent are crowned with knowledge. The evil bow before bow, the evil bow before the good, and the wicked at the gates of the righteous. The poor is hated, even of his own neighbor, but the rich hath many friends. You've been pulled away from vanity. So you're brought down, you're the poor. You're hated by your acquaintances. They don't want to deal with you. You have none to give them but this word. Let's read. He that despiseth his neighbor sinneth, but he that hath mercy on the poor, happy is he. Do they not err that devise evil, but mercy and truth shall be to them that devise good. That's right, the good things of the Lord. In all labor there is profit, but the talk of the lips tendeth only to punery. That's right. Marching in the streets, pumping your fists, ain't doing nothing. The crown of the wise is their riches, but the foolishness of fools is folly. A true witness delivereth souls, but a deceitful witness speaketh lies. And the fear of the Lord is strong confidence, and his children shall have a place of refuge. The fear of the Lord is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. That's right. Second Ezra chapter two. 
That's right. Mm -hmm. Thus saith the Lord, I brought this people out of bondage, and I gave them my commandments by men's servants, the prophets, whom they would not hear, but despise my counsels. That's right, you don't want to hear the voice. The mother that bare them saith unto them, Go your way, ye children, for I am a widow and forsaken. That's right, you've been cast out of Jerusalem. Go your way, do your own thing. Mm -hmm. I brought you up with gladness, but with sorrow and heaviness have I lost you. For ye have sinned before the Lord your God, and done that thing that is evil before him. But what shall I now do unto you? I am a widow and forsaken. Go your way, O my children, and ask mercy of the Lord. As for me, O Father, I call upon thee for a witness over the mother of these children, which would not keep my covenant. Wisdom, that's right. That thou bring them to confusion and their mother to a spoil, that there may be no offspring of them, for they be the children of whoredoms. I will not have mercy on their children. Let them be scattered among the heathen. Let their names be put out of the earth, for they have despised my covenant. You're just black now, or an Indian. That's right, you despise the words. Woe be unto thee, Asur, that thou hidest thy unrighteous in thee. O thou wicked people, remember what I did unto Sodom and Gomorrah, whose land lieth in clods of pitch and heaps of ashes. Even so also will I do unto them that hear me not, saith the Almighty Lord. Thus saith the Lord unto Esdras, Tell my people that I will give them the kingdom of Jerusalem, which I would have given unto Israel. Their glory also will I take unto me and give these the everlasting tabernacles which I had prepared for them. They shall have the tree of life for an ointment of sweet savor. They shall neither labor nor be weary. Go, and ye shall receive. Pray for a few days unto you that they may be shortened. The kingdom is already prepared for you. Watch. That's why Ezra got the crown. It's prepared for him. Just watch, watch what's happening. Take heaven and earth to witness, for I have broken the evil in pieces and created the good, for I live, saith Yahweh. Mother, embrace thy children and bring them up with gladness. Make their feet as fast as a pillar, for I have chosen thee, saith the Lord. And those that be dead will I raise up again from their places and bring them out of the graves, for I have known my name in Israel. Fear not, thou mother of the children, for I have chosen thee, saith the Lord. For thy help will I send my servants, Esau and Jeremy, after whose counsel I have sanctified and prepared for thee twelve trees laden with divers fruits. That's right. Enoch and Elijah, they're going to bring in the remnant. You're going to believe when you see them. And as many fountains flowing with milk and honey, and seven mighty mountains whereupon they grow roses and lilies, whereby I will fill thy children with joy. Do right to the widow, judge for the fatherless, give to the poor, defend the orphan, clothe the naked, heal the broken and the weak, laugh not a lame man to scorn, defend the maimed, and let the blind man come into the sight of my clearness. That's right. Teach this word so they can get their vision clear. That's right. Keep the old and young within thy walls. Where Wheresoever thou findest the dead, take them and bury them, and I will give thee the first place in my resurrection. Abide still, O my people, and take thy rest, for thy quietness still come. Nurse thy children, O thou good nurse, establish their feet. As for the servants whom I have given thee, they shall not one of them perish, for I will require them from among thy number. That's right, the elect. The servants that I have given thee. The elect are the servants. Be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. The heathen shall envy thee, for they shall be able to do nothing against thee, saith Yahweh. 
My hand shall cover thee, so that thy children shall not see hell. Be joyful, O thou mother, with thy children, for I will deliver thee, saith the Lord. Remember thy children that sleep, for I shall bring them out of the sides of the earth, and show mercy unto them, for I am merciful, saith the Lord Almighty. Embrace thy children until I come, and show mercy unto them, for my wells run over, and my grace shall not fail. I, Esdras, received a charge of the Lord upon Mount Oreb, that I should go unto Israel. But when I came unto them, they set me at naught, and despised the commandment of the Lord. And therefore I say unto you, O ye heathen, that hear and understand, look for your shepherd, he shall give you everlasting rest, for he is nigh at hand, that shall come in the end of the world. He is nigh at hand, you better look for your shepherd, you better find a door. Be ready to the reward of the kingdom, for the everlasting light shall shine upon you forevermore. Flee the shadow of this world. Receive the joyfulness of your glory. I testify my Savior openly. O receive the gift that is given you and be glad, giving thanks unto him that hath led you to the heavenly kingdom. Arise and stand. Behold the number of those that be sealed in the feast of the Lord which are departed from the shadow of the world and have received glorious garments of the Lord. Take thy number, O Zion, and shut up those of thine that are clothed in white, which have fulfilled the law of the Lord. The number of thy children, whom thou longest for, is fulfilled. Beseech the power of the Lord that thy people, which have been called from the beginning, may be hallowed. I, Ezra, saw upon Mount Zion a great people, whom I could not number, and they all praised the Lord with songs. That's right. And in the midst of them, there was a young man of a high stature, taller than all the rest. And upon every one of their heads, he set crowns. And was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal and have confessed the name of God. Now are they crowned and receive palms. Then said I unto the angel, What young person is it that crowneth them and giveth them palms in their hands? So he answered and said unto me, It is the Son of God, whom they have confessed in the world. Then, then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. Then the angel said unto me, Go thy way and tell thy people what manner of things and how great wonders of the Lord of thy God thou hast seen. That's right. Mm -hmm. First Corinthians chapter nine. That's right. Am I not an apostle? Am I not free? Have I not seen you? How is I Mashiach, our Lord? Are ye are not ye my work in the Lord? If I be not an apostle unto others, yet doubtless I am to you. For the seal of my apostleship are ye in the Lord. Mine answer to them that do examine me is this. Have we not power to eat and to drink? Have we not power to lead about a sister, a wife, as well as other apostles, as the brethren of the Lord and Cyphus? Or I only and Barnabas, have not we power to forbear working? Who goeth a warfare any time at his own charges? Who planteth a vineyard and eateth not of the fruit thereof? Or who feedeth the flock and eateth not of the milk of the flock? Say I these things as a man, or saith not the law the same? Also, for it is written in the law of Moses, Thou shalt not muzzle the mouth of the ox that treadeth out the corn. Doth God take care for oxen? Or saith he it altogether for our sakes? For our sakes, no doubt, this is written, that he that ploweth should plow in hope, and that he that thresheth in hope should be partaker of his hope. If we have sown unto you spiritual things, it, is it a great thing we shall reap your carnal things? If others be partakers of this power over you, are not we rather? Nevertheless, we have not used this power, but suffer all things, lest we should hinder the gospel of Amashiach. Do ye not know that they which minister about holy things live of the things of the temple? That's right. Mm-hmm. And they which wait at the altar are partakers with the altar. 
Even so hath the Lord ordained that they which preach the gospel shall live of the gospel. But I have used none of these things, neither have I written these things that go, that it should be done unto me. For it were better for me to die than that any man should make my glory void. Right? It's better for me to lose my life than to any man to glory against this. We want to be partakers of the altar. It's better for me to die because this is the love of my heart. For though, I, for though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of. For necessity is laid upon me, yea, woe is unto me. If I preach not the gospel. For if I do this thing willingly, I have a reward. But if against my will, a dispensation of the gospel is committed unto me. What is my reward then? Verily, that when I preach the gospel, I make the gospel of Amashiach without charge, that I abuse not my power in the gospel. For though I be free from all men, that's right, you're under the law of liberty when you have the crown, the anointing. Yet have I made myself servant unto all, that I might gain the more, and unto the Jews I became as a Jew, that I might gain the Jews. What's up, brother? Right? To them that are under the law, as under the law, that I might gain them that are under the law. You Israelites, you are under it by blood. To them that are without the law, the Gentiles, as without law, being not without law to God, but under the law of Hamashiach, that I might gain them that are without law. That's right, some are sanctified. To the weak became I as weak, that I might gain the weak. I made all things to all men, that I might be all by all means save some. And this I do for the gospel's sake, that I might be partaker of with you. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all? That's right. But one receiveth, but one receiveth the prize. So run that ye may obtain. And every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corrupt. They, now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. I therefore so run, not as uncertain, uncertainly so fight I, not as one that beateth the air, but I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. That's right. You're laboring for all things. And you can still be a castaway if you're offending people, right? Let's give all praise to the Most High God, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, the crown. And all praise to you, lost sheep of the house of Israel and mankind who fears God. Shalom.